Ageless Couples, good evening. It's a pleasure being here once again to discuss with us. You're welcome to Ageless Discuss with Pastor Fred and Oluchi Chupono. How are you over there? How is everything going on with you, especially in this lockdown? I know that our God is faithful. He that began this great work in your life till now, he will finish it till the end. Our greetings to you all. Yeah, and um, today we will be discussing um, on the topic. We have series, we began, began series last, uh, last time, and that was uh, um, sustaining the, the, the flame of romance in mm -hmm. relationship. Yeah, in our marriages. Yes, in our yeah. marriages too. So we, we are we're continuing today and uh, we uh, do the last one was on audio today and it's going to be on video. So we will continue today and the, and the, and the, on the part two of that, which is on, on that series, we'll be talking about um, spending quality time with your spouse. With your spouse, yes. But before we go to that topic, please, we want to take this opportunity to appreciate as many as gave us their comments in our WhatsApp lines. We wouldn't know what you have done. It's really, really very encouraging, especially in a time like this, especially when you're starting something new. Mm -hmm. So we really, really appreciate you. Yes. And for some of you that said the audio is not very clear, well, we are working on it. Yeah. And others that said, that said they need to see the personality, they need to see yeah. us. That's why we're doing this video. Yeah. We believe that it will get better with time yes. and we trust that God will help us. Amen. Amen. All right, so... Uh, we will be looking um, uh, on how to have a quality time with your spouse. Spending quality time with your spouse. Now, uh, uh, um, what does it mean to spend a quality time with your spouse? In the definition varies based on the individual. Yeah. What a quality time means to me might be different from what it means to my wife. Exactly. But the most important thing is coming to a point whereby both of us will agree to spend a quality time with one another. You know, spending a quality time, you know, you know, remembering those precious moments, the time we spent together, the ride from our courtship, the very first day we, we, we proposed to one another until this very moment, you know, trying to uh, cast our mind back on those good memories and then and be able to look at uh, for our face and our eyes, you know, alone, uninterruptedly, being able to cherish those moments and uh, profess our love to one another again. Yeah. You see, when we're talking about quality time, it doesn't mean that you have not been seeing the person. After all, you sleep with the person, if the, the first person you see in the morning, and, and the also the last person you see in the night. Yeah. So, what's the essence of time and all that? You see, each time I read those uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 8, it reminds me something. The Bible said, And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. What was God looking for in the cool of the day? He wanted to fellowship with them. Though God is omnipresent, yet He created time to have a fellowship with the beings he created. So the same way it is with couples, creating quality time, you know, carving out time, apart from the things you do together, you know, sometimes you're together in the sitting room, but that doesn't mean that they're actually having quality time. Yeah. Especially like during this lockdown, people have stayed like four weeks, and yet there is no connection. Yeah, do you understand? That, that is not quality time. Connection is important. Yeah. There is a need for us to be connected physically and spiritually yeah. all right those connections are the key and once connected as a couple now this will go a long way in in, in uh, a flourishing and the and the reviving uh, the, the, the marriage you know if there's something that we should be afraid of is having boredom in our relationship and if there's anything that ageless stands for is to keep finding the romance yeah. the flame the, the flame of the romance and when we fail to have a quality time together create time together i mean it will lead to boredom you get you know 
you start taking each other for granted, mm -hmm. you know. I remember those days before you even think of, you know, proposing, there must be something that you call dating. You just want to have time. You create time. When mm -hmm. he said, I'm coming, it's like, wow. You yeah. create that time for him or her. You're so the same that way, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going for that time that you stay together and talk and just, you know, play. Yes. Some silly things, but, uh, but those things count. Those things help us to develop that that affection, that relationship, you know, with one another, okay? And then this is very important, very, very important. So what are the signs, you know, that you begin to see in a couple, maybe uh, 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 as a couple, you begin to look, look, notice them in your relationship that will tell you, man, you need to create time for yourselves. What are the signs that one is expected to see and you know that it's very important that you start creating time? Yes, such time, you see, when you notice that, um, there's a lot of argument between uh, uh, you and your spouse over every little thing. You argue over it. You know, uh, it's a time for uh, time for um, um, you know quality time. He he tells us that we need to go on retreat, all right? A <laughs> romance retreat and be able to talk things over. It, it seems that there are gap between us. We, we we don't really agree over things anymore. We're no longer used to each other. Now that, that is telling us it's a time for us to to uh, 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 to take our time and stay together. All right, that, that's one of them. Yeah, it's true. You know, I know that sometimes couples argue, but when it becomes incessant, almost everything you argue. You know, there's no conversation that will go through without argument. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's, there's a problem. Another thing is that when you discover that you are sad, you're not happy. You understand? Yeah. That means bottom has set in. Sure. And again, sometimes as a guy, you discover that you prefer to stay with your guys, you know, friends, mm. have friends outside. Yeah. I mean, it's a, sign it's a sign that there's a gap that you need to create time yes. for your spouse. When a woman enjoys cooking alone in the kitchen, yeah. going on shopping with friends, you know, spending more time with the children, playing than the, 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 than the spouse, now is an indication there is a need for us to spend quality time. There is a need for us to take our time together. You have not even mentioned that of the smartphones. Of course, you know that mm -hmm. smartphone has displaced everything. Yeah. So right now, some 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 uh, 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 partners prefer to be on their phones two for seven. I mean, it, uh, it distracts them. They don't feel bored anymore. anymore. They chat with friends. Spend it brings hours. them connect them connect them to their ex lovers. And all those, so they don't feel the presence of their partner. Mm -hmm. Of course, in such relationship, you know that the quality, quality time is actually lacking. Yes. All right. So mm -hmm. the next thing I'm going to ask is, how can couples create time? Knowing that you see someone in the morning, and is the last person, and you are still talking about quality time. How are the ways that couples can create time for themselves? Mm. It's, it's, a, it's a deliberate act. Yeah. It's something that you have to think about. Is a thing that you have to really uh, 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 work on. It might not be easy, you know, looking at our, our schedules and the, uh, the time there for us as a businessman. Very the money we're up as a as a uh, as a um, uh, as um, a public servant or a civil servant. You discover that um, very the money we're off and we're back in the evening. So we don't really have that time in between. Now, now, the, the, how to create this time is when you look at your at your schedule, you look at your, your calendar, you look at your itineraries, you'll be able to look at a free time. It could be weekend, right? You can go out for, go out to, uh, for dinner together, right? You can go for, for lunch together. You spend the time, you can go, go, for, go to cinema. Just bringing out such time that, that, that will uh, you know, enable both of you to, to go out and then, and then sit down hand in hand and then, and then, and then have them move those moments. Yeah, it's one of the one of, one of the ways you can create out time to be together. And uh, another way is uh, you can learn new things together. Mm, yeah. You see, learning new thing is very interesting. You know, I remember that during the this period, my husband wanted to learn keyboard. <laughs> you understand? Mm. And I said I'm also interested. Now, doing things together, you know, it helps. It, it, it strengthens the relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can take a walk together. You can decide to go for a gym. I mean, there are so many things you can do, even if there is no time together. Of course, cooking. cooking. You can decide to do yes. dinner. Do the four-course meal.
meal. <laughs> Do you understand? Even if the meal is not good, at the end of the day, you laugh for Farid. But then, and it's fun. It's fun, yes. It's fun. It's fun. Both of you went through it and made the same and make the mistake together, and they come out of it. You know, it's it's, it's awesome. So the, the, the quality time is uh, is a spending full time together is cannot be overemphasized. It's something that we have to create our time. All right, in the midst of our, our busy schedules. Remember, the point is getting two of you to be connected. Mm -hmm. That is the most important. Being connected and uh, having time of relaxation, taking out time. Somebody said you can even re redo your first dates. <laughs> when yeah. I when I said I just laughed, you know. Yes. It's, it's important remembering remembering the very first dinner you have together all right you can you can you can recreate it pretend to be to, to not know each other you know and dress for it you, you know i tell you something if you go out in, in such uh, uh, outing together you know coming just like you're meeting for the very first time and they pretend not to know each other and go through the the whole protocols you know come out this form is fun because the joy and the laughter that would follow would be awesome. And, and by doing that, we're getting to discover each other the more, getting to know one another the more. Because the, the, you know, these are the things that will stay back in our heart. These are, these are the kind of memories that, 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 will, that, will, that will stick to our heart. Well, and uh, you see, when we're talking about quality time, I just remembered why we had this vision of Eightless Corpus International. You see, sometimes Christians, they feel that um, marriage is boring. And for me, I, I don't look at it that way. In, in at least in Corpus International, we create time for dinner and we create time for bonding. We dress for it. You know, sometimes we believe that it's only that time we, we wear that, that we will dress, you know. And most times it's, for, it's things for unbelievers. No, I believe that as believers, you can still make your marriage to be interesting and to be good by creating time and quality time for yes. your spouse. Yes. Then I want to ask again, what are the challenges? Why is it that some people find it very difficult to create this time together with it, all these uh, possibilities and advantages? You know, the, 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 there are so many things irritating against this um, quality time together. And don't forget that that uh, marriage is the first instrument that God created, right? If you want to get a society, society starts with a family. There are so many things that will work against us. Imagine a couple that are, that are, that are, that are having issues, right? Having issues, keeping marriage. Coming to times, it's going to be a problem. But if you're able to work out that time, things will begin to resolve by themselves. One, one way look at it, Sometimes it could be finances. Yes. It yes. could be finances. And that's why sometimes that's why sometimes it's not good in such quality time alone with your, your spouse. You don't talk anything about finance. Put it behind you. <laughs> Those are the things that brings about arguments. When you want to, when you set up the plan for, for, for the year, you know, before you and you begin to look at the money, when it comes to finance, problem starts. Argument starts. And it might end up that quality time and that outing messing it up. So sometimes finance could be the issue. But, but, but what I would advise is that, you know, you mustn't be, you mustn't travel to the five-star hotel. You mustn't travel out of the state. You can still be with it. You can be with it in your house. Just recreate, you know, in your house, you know, reset places and they, and they, and they have a nice um, uh, uh, a meal with a candlelight or whatever, good music, and they sit together. Now, finance can be, can be an obstacle where we look at finance and say, well, I'm having a bogus budget. In fact, I want to go to this place. Or that's what I said, that if it's not this place, we're not going to go out. It must be this place. It must be this place. All right? It shouldn't be that. No. No, it could be just a walk. Take a walk on the street. All right? It could be just a jog. Okay? Now, these things are the, are the, are the things that are, that, are, that are important. But when we don't, we're not very careful, it becomes a challenge. It becomes a hindrance. That's one of them. All right. Another one is uh, sometimes, um, I remember when people get married, they said, I, I don't want to have children maybe after two years so that I'll be able to know my husband and all. So some people look at children to be a challenge. Do you understand? But it shouldn't be. It, at, at a point, you know, if their grandparents are alive or whatever, you can take them there if you actually want to have some time together. Mm -hmm. 
you know, it mustn't be that expensive. It shouldn't, there shouldn't be any that or they can still be along. Even if you want to travel, you can go along with them, you know. But the thing is that being able to plan very well and uh, you have what you want. I don't believe that such things could act, should actually be a challenge to creating time. We, mm -hmm. The most important is being able to eradicate boredom and things that will bring, you know, a, 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 a hindrance. And then you come together and create a, a, a memorable moment. Yes. All right, what's yes. the last word for, for the couple who are watching right now? Well, I, I will start by saying that don't let anything hinder you. Don't let your job, don't let your career, don't let your business. These things are there. Squeeze out time in between. Look at the free time and begin to plan towards it. Get your partner involved. Plan together with that time. Depending, most of, both of us cannot be as busy as every week. The week you know that you are less busy, let the other one compromise. It should have to be a compromise. I agree with you and let's go out. You see, quality time is very important. We must not overlook it. It's part, it's, it's one of the ways to set the, the romance aflame and the, and the refreshing the relationship again, marriages. Thank you. All right. Um, couples out there, you have listened. You see, whatever happens, your marriage comes first. It is just like when lockdown, businesses shut down, everything, you are there with your spouse and your family. And, they, and, and it goes on. So that is the foundation now. And as you get older in life, you discover that relationship is the most important. And you must not play with it. Thank God for career. Thank, thank God for money. Thank God for businesses. But you must try and build that which you will fall back on in your old age. So you have heard it all today. Building quality time is one of the ways to fan our romance in marriage. Remember what ageless, uh, 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 ageless couples international stand for? We stand for refreshing marriages. Marriage. I hope we have been able to bless you. So can you wish? God, God bless you. Uh, Father, we thank you because you are a faithful God. Uh, I lift up my uh, listeners before and under the influence of my voice. I pray for them, Lord, and that, that, they, that you refresh our marriages. You build us, O oh God. You will cause us to, to create time for one another. The enemy might not really want us to do this, but I know the church starts from the family. Yes. The nation starts from the family. Yes. If we get the family together, then we know that this nation, the church of Christ, will stand as one. I, I pray that this becomes our our our, our desire and the, and the dream come true. Thank you because we know you have heard in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, thank you and God bless you. Remember to give us your feedback. Um, WhatsApp. On our WhatsApp. Yes. You know. And every other platform that, we, that you will watch us through. We'll be looking forward to, to hear from you. God bless you. Bye.